welcome to Fine Arts. Today we are going to learn about artist Norval Morisot, who was an Aboriginal Canadian artist known as the Picasso of the North. For this lesson, we are going to be creating his woodland animals, and you have lots of choices in art class today. You could do a fish, a moose, an owl, a turtle, or you could do a bear, my son did, or also a wolf. So today, the choice is yours. Now, let me tell you a little bit about what you're going to do. The first thing is, take a look at the drawing guide of Norval Morisot. So he has lots of amazing pieces of artwork. He has a turtle, a fish, bear, moose, another fish, bear, thunderbird, turn it over, and on the back you have another turtle, fish, eagle, thunderbird, this one has bear, fish, birds, bird, owl, and wolf. So you have this kind of as a guide um, so you can figure out what you want to create today. So the first thing that we're going to do is trace our shape and um, we're gonna be tracing our shape on black paper using a white colored pencil. The second step we're gonna do is cut out our shape, which is going to be in black, because Norville used thick black lines. The third step, we're gonna use construction paper and create a scene, and we're gonna glue it all together. So, let me show you the animals that you're going to pick from. So, the first one is the turtle template and here is the turtle artwork. Okay. The next one was the bear that my son did. Here is the bear if you like that one. And the bear can go either direction if you want to flip it over. It's totally up to you. And then we have the fish that my son Gavin did, my other son. And here is the fish. Again, you can flip it and do it any direction you want. Then we have the moose. My husband created the moose. It was a family event. And the moose is a little bit harder with the top of these um, antlers, so you'll want to, you can kind of make them however you want. And the last one my youngest son Dylan did was the wolf. And notice that you could have the wolf go any direction. He has his wolf eating an apple from an apple tree. Very clever. All right, today I'm going to show you how to create um, the bear. And so you're going to get your black paper. You're going to get your template. And using your color pencil, you're going to go ahead and trace your template. And hold it with one hand and you're gonna trace around. Okay, that is step number one. Step two, you're gonna cut it out. So after we trace, we're gonna cut it out so that there are no white lines. Now, I have one already done for you. And I have one cut and ready to go. And before you um, glue it down, you're gonna be cutting lots of different things to piece it together. Let me show you what I mean. So for my bear, I'm gonna show you how some extra tricks on how to do it. So there's a background before I glue anything down. Then I can put the bear here. Oh, actually, I layered, I put red, and then I put a little bit of green because red and green are complementary colors. And I added these shapes. Now, Norval was a painter, but today we're using construction paper to create this project. Here is the crescent moon, and I also added some lines to it. 
So there is no wrong way to do this. Let's see. When I, here we go. So we're not going to glue yet. I want you to design everything first. And I want to show you a few tricks. So, let's see. Take a look. First thing is, if you want to make some of these circles, like if you're doing the owl and you want to do two eyes that are the same, here's what you would do. You would take your construction paper, fold it in half, draw the, the shape you want. So let's say I draw a circle. And while it is folded in half, you're going to cut your shape out. And then you end up having two pieces that are the same. So that is a trick that I figured out. Another trick that I want to show you is that if we look at the drawing guide, you notice that he uses lots of layering of color. So like this right here, he started with the blue, then the yellow, then the red. And so that's kind of these circles here that I did on the owl. So I'm going to show you how to do, how I did that. Okay, so take a look. I'm going to set the bear aside really quickly. So let's say we do, well actually, we'll go ahead and start with the yellow one that we just did. Now with our glue, you're going to take the lid off your glue, um, put your glue brush there. Now let's say I want to make one of these. So I would take the smallest shape that I have, Flip it over, put glue on the back. Okay, remember, just a little tiny bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down on another color, okay? Then, you could take that color and cut around. And today we're doing organic shapes, so they do not need to be perfect. Go. And then let's say you wanted to have um, another color. So now you take it. Put glue on the back, glue it down, cut around. So this is how you're going to layer and make all of your things. Now, the other thing that Norville did was lots of bold black lines. And you can see that here in the fish. You can see how it goes around in the bear and the turtle. Oh, this bear here. Um, so, you're going to just design your art however you want. Now, if I'm looking at the bear, I'm not going to glue anything down uh, on the big paper yet, but I'm going to show you what I mean by layering. So, I did the ears by doing red and then green. So, if I want to put something in the body, I'm going to... Uh, glue the big shape first. Glue that down. And I want to push, push, push. Then I'll glue, glue the medium size shape. Push that one down. Oh, I think I made it the other way. Let's see. There we go. And then the smallest shape. So I want your animal to have lots of color and lots of layers. Okay, so there's my animal. You can see that I did the eye, I did some legs, stuff on the legs. So here is just um, the animal. And then for my background, for this piece I cut um, a scrap piece of paper. So I'm going to glue this red one first. Now when you're gluing today, for your bigger pieces, you want to go around the outside edge. So notice, I'm not just putting a big glob of glue in the middle, because then the rest of the pieces will not stick. So I'm going nice and slow, and putting a layer all the way around. And then, um, pasting it down like that. Okay, and then I can do this piece. And so like, let me just remind you, for my turtle, 
for my turtle, I put this purple piece down. Then I did the black of the turtle. Then I glued the turtle down and made the orange. So lots of layers. You can see my son did the wolf. Okay. And then for the moose, there was a river running through. So I kind of thought about what kind of story um, was behind it. With the fish, there was lots of layers. So it was, it was the blue, then the teal, then the white, and the purple. Here is another bear. And there is an owl. So you can do it however you want. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and glue this green piece down. Again, when I'm gluing uh, the bigger pieces, you go all the way around with your glue. And then you, you're gonna glue it down and you wanna make sure that you um, push, 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 okay? Also, before we, um, before I forget, we have an artist information sheet on Norville Moriso that I want you to also glue on the back. And when I glue my animal down, turn it over, and we're just going to carefully go nice and slow gluing our organic shape. Organic shape means it's not um, like a perfect square or triangle. And you don't need a lot of glue. And I added a crescent moon, I drew it on yellow paper. So today in class, there are lots of color choices. Every color you could possibly think of um, is going to be in class. And I also will have black Sharpies available if you want to draw some black lines on yours, kind of like Norval did. He, his artwork, told different legends of his people, and it told a story. He also went by the name Copper Thunderbird because he was an indigenous artist. And he founded a woodland school of Canada where they did art, pretty amazing. And he's self-taught, he did not go to art school. And his style is very rec recognizable. And he was born March 14th. March 14th is Pi Day in 1932. And he ended up having seven kids. Okay, so I hope you had fun today learning about Norval Moriso. We'll be talking about him in class. And I want you to have so much fun with this art project. I can't wait to see what you create. Until next time. Bye, everybody.